Hello, everyone. I'm Eric Cave. I'm your director of Next Gen Ministries for the Pacific Northwest Conference. And today I get to introduce you to my friend, Jen Milston. She is newly the youth director at Leonard Streets Covenant Church, although she's not new to the church or our conference. And we'll get to um, hear all about that as we get to know her. So Jen, welcome. Really glad you're here. And I uh, want you to begin by introducing yourself and uh, let us know um, some of your personal and ministry background. Yeah. Hey, thank you. It's good to see all of friends and family from the covenant. So great to be here. Um, for me, the background uh, in ministry started when I was 18 years old, when I came to know Jesus. Um, I was kind of maybe a late bloomer, if you would. Uh, but after um, just starting to grow in my faith, like I realized very quickly, I wanted to continue to share that with others. And um, so official ministry started when I was uh, 21 and I became a young life leader in mm -hmm. Seattle, Washington. And I just knew in my heart that getting to build relationships with students um, and then ultimately getting to share Jesus with these kids who maybe didn't go to church was a joy of mine. And I actually went to Seattle University and was going to get my teaching degree um, so I could teach science in order to then build relationships with students and have them come to know Jesus. Uh, the Lord had a different path for me, uh, and I ended up going on Young Life staff at a property in Oregon called the Washington Family Ranch, even though it is in Oregon. And it started as a year-long intern position, which then turned into nine years of getting to serve uh, doing discipleship at the camp um, with the different interns and high school and college age students. So that's kind of like a big chunk of my ministry experience. And then I had kids and life kind of just got put on hold. And because we had kids and wanted them to be uh, growing in a faith community, we found Lettered Streets Covenant Church based on an invitation from a preschool friend. Thank you, Emily. Oh, and uh we started going to this church and there was just a really growing and thriving uh, children's ministry there, but they needed a kids director for their ministry. And uh, I was kind of feeling the nudge to jump aboard that ship, but felt a little too crazy. And obviously that's not my background. You know, I tried it for a few months and realized, oh my gosh, like this is using a lot of my gifts that the Lord has given me. I get to share Jesus. I get to work with kids. I get to do crafts, which is one of my passions. And then that turned into another nine years of ministry experience. So I have been serving as the kids director at Lettered Streets for nine years. And a few years ago, I was starting to get sad every time I had to send up my next group of kids um, into our youth ministry as these conversations were just starting to get really good and juicy and digging into scripture and asking these amazing questions about life and who God is. And, um, the Lord just put the nudge on my heart of like, Hey, you're going to walk with these kids, these kids you'll see again. Uh, and then as the position came open this past year, um, I was like, really God, are you sure? Are you sure? I kind of felt like Moses, right. Of like, there's so many other people who are way better suited for this, mm -hmm. um, than I am. But, uh, yeah. So I answered that call and for the last month and a half, I've got to serve as the youth director at Lettered Streets with our high school and, and middle school youth. So that's great. So yeah. And, and tell us more then about the ministry you're in right now. What are you, what are you passionate about in what you're doing? Well, <laughs> well I am, I'm passionate about a lot of things, <laughs> um, as you can tell, <laughs> but, um, I am just really excited to kind of two parts with ministry. One, just, uh, I feel like sometimes with following Jesus, especially as a youth, um, that there's kind of so many rules and so much that we can get bogged down on in our head that it's like, why would I want to follow Jesus? I feel like if I follow the Lord, then, um, my fun is gone. And mm. I feel like I'm a firm believer that Jesus came to bring life and life to the full and that means fun and that means silliness and that means laughter in the midst of also diving into really good, deep conversation. So I'm really excited to kind of partner those two together um, to be fun and silly, but then also 
these conversations that I was so excited to have when they were in fourth and fifth grade to get to see those continue to get deeper and dig more into God's word. And as these youth are becoming individuals and having their own thoughts to get to partner with them and walk beside them. And uh, I don't know, have just those good, honest, real conversations that are creating these good foundations in their faith and their journey with Jesus. So I feel like I get my two favorite things like fun and silliness and Jesus in one. (laughs) I like that. So um, share with us, Jen, how can we be praying for you? in this season of your life and ministry? Yeah, there's a few. One, all three of my kids are high school and middle school age, so it feels a little different to wear the youth director hat and the mom hat. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think sometimes they're like, are you only saying that because like you're on church staff? And it's like, no, actually it's because I'm your mom and I care about (laughs) spiritual development. So I think that piece of walking the line of staff and parents is a huge one. Yeah, and then just transitioning from talking to kids to talking to youth. Um, you know, they all know me as their children's director. So for them to see that like, Hey, I actually used to do this for a really long time. So I'm a little rusty, but being able to engage in their world and for them to see that, um, that I really do care about them and I really do care about, uh, their hearts and their spiritual formation. I think that's really great. And also for the first time ever, we're going to thunder. Yeah. Yes. Insert um, musical backgrounds. <laughs> so we have 13 middle schoolers and uh, hopefully four leaders and two vans going down one very long stretch of I-5 mm-hmm. to participate in thunder for the first time ever. So uh, we're really excited and a little nervous, but mostly excited to go. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Yeah, and I'll be praying for you, and I I encourage all of our viewers to take take some time to pray for you and your church and your ministry and your students going to Thunder and Thunder in general <laughs> uh, as they get ready to go. So, all right, as is our custom, I have some kind of quick answer, just fun questions to get to know you a little bit better, and uh, we'll go through these here. I, I'm going to mix them up a little bit, so we'll start with this one because I think you may have indicated earlier what it might be, but I'm curious what you're going to say. What would you do for a career if you weren't doing this? Well, um, it is, I mean, it is not a high school science teacher, although that would maybe be part two. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Me and my daughter, Cora have dreams to start our own, um, like store for like kind of outdoorsy jewelry and like homeware. It would be called Larch and Lupin. And that's That's still kind of one of the things we'd love to do together is to start an Etsy store with fun wares that we make. Oh, okay. That was good. You surprised me. Good job. Next question. What is your greatest fear? My greatest fear actually is that something would happen at church on my watch Oh, um, to one of the students or one of the kids. Yeah. Yeah. I tell the kids, we have a couple of flights of stairs kids have to go down in order to get to kids church and to our youth Mm -hmm. space. And my greatest fear is that One will topple and they'll take all of them down and they'll just be blood and broken things everywhere. I mean, that's more of a funny, not funny, but a different image. But but also that uh, there would be some sort of harm that would happen on the church watch, whether it's emotionally or physically. Um, So I feel like I have lots of boundaries to try and keep everybody safe. But that mostly comes partly from my fear that something would happen and then kids would associate church and Jesus was something really horrible and negative. Yeah. Okay. One, one more question to wrap up. And that is this, what would you like most to tell yourself at age 13? I would love to tell myself at 13. That's when I first had my encounter with the Lord and mm. um, I turned my back on him mm. and turned to the ways of the world instead. Mm. So I would love to tell myself it is real. Like when you felt the Lord listening to you and responding to you, that wasn't like some weird thing that happened in your head. It was real. And to stay true and follow him because you're loved and special in his eyes. Well, Jen, thank you so much for taking the time to introduce yourself to us and give us the opportunity to get to know you today. Uh, I can't wait to see people throughout the year and celebrate what God is doing in, in all of our ministries, kids and youth together. 